Mech will be the starting troop. Early hidden warrior in two engine room, 26 keys to unlock, finally getting the love they deserve. Flare also readily available in two engine room, not to mention the offensive blitz that five engine room will be with bombardiers, laser rangers, and seekers all readily available in five engine room gameplay. Boom Beach Warship Season 43 Return of the Mech. Surprise, mother Sneak peek and breakdown. Let's do this. Good morning, uh, good afternoon, and yes, good evening, Skull Army and friends. It's your boy, your friendly uh, neighborhood Skull Crusher, coming right back at you with the sneak peek for Boom Beach Warship Season 43, Return of the Mech. I would like to give a disclaimer. I am on the developer build account, which yes, is a private server lent to me by Supercell for the purpose of testing out new features and updates, in this case, Season 43 sneak peek, to then showcase to you uh, the Skull Army and friends. Yes, Supercell trust me, and no, you can't use it. Boom Beach Warship Season 43 return of the mech will be a three-week season, starting on Monday, January the 30th, and running right up into until Sunday, February the 19th. In today's sneak peek, Skull Army, we're going to be covering everything from the CRV, our chest rank values. <laughs> the season statistics. Going over our deck layouts to ER, running right up through seven engine room. You're actually getting a look at the seven ER deck layout right now. And of course, finishing things off with our brand new uh, tech tree guide for you, uh, Skull Army and friends, to plan your path to success. Not to mention that our tech tree does have nine multi nodes, with five of them being protos. I would like to give a quick nod at the fact that two sky shields will be available for this season. It's going to get very, very excited here. <laughs> Please do not forget to leave a like on today's video. It does mean the absolute world to me, it does help the channel grow, and yes, of course, it does appease uh, our YouTube algorithm overlords. Uh, yeah, 
This is going to be a crazy season. Every season is a crazy season. Let's be real here. Skull Army, we're going to go through the tech tree here. Two engine room, three, four, five, six, and seven. Just to give a little bit of a breakdown and, uh, and an insight of what I think so far of this season and the tech tree here. Now for two engine room, of course, it is return of the mech. It is nice to see the mech as the starting troop. We do have the hidden warrior also available. Branch down there off, you know, the main path there. 26 keys to pick up. So I I can definitely see the two engine room kind of be being hidden warrior swarms uh riflemen are also kind of available there and it's nice to see that flare is tucked up there as well that's 22 keys to unlock the flare so you know depending if you're just going to be swarming it with the troops or not uh flare is literally right there to pick up so i think a lot of players probably will be getting it i know i i will be getting it on at least two of my accounts here so of course it is a 100 percent troop health season we do have 50 percent of that th already available and it's nice to see that going into three er you pretty much have to branch down and get that troop health or you get that building damage go over to the multi node that multi node does offer two snipers two flamethrowers two machine guns and of course get that rifleman node as well and you could see some rifleman swarms who knows leading into three er three er is just absolutely insane here um j just the main path to get from three er to four er is, is bananas here so you've got cannon shock multi-node uh, it's a proto multi-node which does offer a da1 damage amplifier one sky shield two and doom cannon one so i think that's pretty interesting that it is that that is a level two sky shield and then of course on top of that you've got your heavies you know boom cannon gunboat energy node once you get to that gbe node you know it's pretty interesting choice you have here pick up your critter launchers or branch down and pick up your brick regardless you do have to pick up one or the other to get to that troop damage and then that is your ticket going into 4er and i also do want to point out that there are mortars which do branch off to a dead end node which is building health this is only a 50 percent bh season school army so it's going to be pretty interesting to see how many you know pick up that bh right away but just due to the fact that it is off the main path to go to four engine room and then of course once you do get into four engine room four to five you know it's not too exciting actually it is pretty exciting every every transition here is pretty exciting here medics are going to be that first node after you go into four er uh not to mention you know you will have another proto multi-node on the main path there with either shock blaster one laser beam one or micro waver one here and then of course not to mention after that staying on the main path here you can pick up your barrage continue to your tank you get your shock mine and then directly to 5 er but there's a lot of goodies also tucked away in four engine room here not to mention that you do have rocket choppers you will respect my authority readily available you know we've got boom mines the good doctor and another proto multi node tucked away on a dead end node there at the top in four engine room so that's going to be really exciting there not to mention the shock launcher tucked away there on a dead end node as well and the exciting thing about the shock launcher is is you actually have to go five engine room uh before you can branch over and pick up that shock launcher so i think that's really exciting that as soon as you go five er they literally just put a shock launcher the shock launcher node as a dead end node off to the left there and critters are also available in four engine room that's another really nice tool in the toolbox for uh the gunboat abilities and then five engine room is just insane okay so main path is is bombardiers uh the next troop health node that's your 100 percent th remember you got 50 percent th H and two ER laser rangers and then five engine room but let's just talk about the offensive blitz that five ER is going to be this season with regards to bombardiers laser freaking rangers and yes of course the seekers as well just next level insanity that that's pure offense right there and then of course artillery is also kind of available there as well the cool thing is it 5 er is that if you do stick on the main path there and go bomba th laser ranger you go right to 5 er or if you're really feeling those seekers then just branch up you know you can even branch over and get your artillery to mention that there is a proto multi-node also readily available tucked away on the bottom in five engine room with either hot pot two uh, that's a hot pot level two sky shield level two or boom surprise two once you do make your way into six engine room private bullet uh is the first uh, node readily available and of course heavy choppers is also going to be there so the main path going into 6er will be bullet gunboat energy 
Uh, and I guess you can say either Sparky or, or Heavy Choppers. Heavy Choppers are 40 keys to unlock, so they are two keys cheaper than Sparky. Plus, you're probably already having Bullet, possibly even Brick and Kavan. So I, I see absolutely no use for Sparky, uh, you know, especially with her this far on the tech tree this season. I feel like Sparky will get the Hidden Warrior love from last season. <laughs> uh, rocket Launchers are also available on a dead-end node there at the bottom of Bullet there in 6ER on... On the top dead end note is the troop damage. I believe that is our 100% troop damage. This is a 150% TD season. And then, of course, you know, if you do decide to go bottom after that GBE node there, you do have the Scorcher. And then, of course, the multi node there. This is an interesting one. Two mortars one rocket launcher or two shock launchers so very cool very cool shout out to uh you know the shish kebobber node uh regardless or not depending on whatever path you decide to take to go into seven engine room once again i don't think many players will be getting sparky due to the amount of heroes already available before and even bullet on the main path you know we all want that heavy chopper so heavy choppers it's gonna be that's 40 keys to unlock there and then of course once you do go seven engine room a crying ear tax are you freaking kidding me what an interesting tech tree here uh you will have to pay 40 keys to unlock the absolutely useless cryos i could be wrong for all i know this is going to be a cheese meta cheese being cryo heavy zooka <laughs> shout out to season one and two uh nonetheless here after the crying ear tax here you know you can continue forward and get that 150 td which i think majority of players will do once you if you're if you're like part of those early players that get to that 150 TD you are absolutely ahead of the pack and uh, you have a serious advantage so after you pay the cry in your tax pick up that troop damage you'll branch down that's a beautiful proto multi node there with the CMO 3 grappler 2 our flotsam 3 there and then of course you could branch over there and pick up that useless mine node I think that's 42 to unlock I could be wrong uh, I actually, I don't have it right beside me here, but I believe it is 42. Nonetheless here, I think most players will probably go down and get that building damage. And then of course, finish things off with that gumboat energy and then round up and get that useless mine node. So what an interesting, exciting tech tree full of a lot of twists and turns, lots of dead end nodes as well. I, I'm, I'm very excited, you know, shock launcher just tucked away there you know in five engine room six er you know you've got the rocket launcher and of course the troop damage just you know above or a below bullet there and then of course i love this up top i believe this is four er this up top dead end here with the boom mines uh kavan and then of course that proto multi node as well so personally i think a very exciting tech tree skull army a lot to look forward to here definitely let me know what your thoughts are in the comments with regards to the upcoming season 43 return of the mech uh with that being said skull army and friends we will uh officially be wrapping up today's sneak peek now i I think it's time to make a like a Tom and a cruise. We will catch you on the seas and the streams. Let's get ready and have an absolutely exciting season 43 return of the mech. Why am I still rambling? All right, make like a Tom and cruise. Peace.